What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today's video is a long time coming and I'm very excited because I've been trying to get my hands on one of these for a very long time. So today we're going to do a little shotgunning because I just got a trench gun. Oh yeah, the Winchester 1897 Slam Fire 12 gauge. But before we shoot this thing, let me put y'all on the tripod and give you a closer look at it because it is so beautiful. So yes, I'm sure a lot of you guys are very familiar with the Winchester 1897s. They are an iconic piece of American military history and served in basically every war throughout the 20th century that the United States was involved in. But it was World War I that really put these things on the map and where they became legendary, I guess you could say, especially the trench gun version that we have here. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a close up look at this thing. You might have noticed this one is in pretty good shape, which is kind of uncommon for a Winchester 1897 trench gun. And that is because this is not an original. It has been refurbished. So you can get the originals. They're either very expensive or, you know, so old and beat up that they're almost unusable. And I wanted one that we could actually shoot and have fun with and not have to worry about it blowing up. So I did a little research and found a company called Bull Creek Arms that actually takes old Winchester 1897s and refurbishes them. So yes, I did have to pay full price for this. A couple fun facts. I'm sure you've all heard the story stories of American soldiers shooting incoming hand grenades out of the air. Well, apparently the trench gun was the shotgun most known for that, which is some pretty high stakes trap shooting. If you miss, well, don't miss. They also earned the nickname the Trench Sweeper because of their slam fire capability and close range effectiveness and were so feared by the German government that at one point they actually tried to protest and have these things outlawed in combat, claiming they were inhumane, which is actually kind of hilarious if you think about it. That's pretty much it. This is probably the coolest shotgun ever made in my opinion. I know a lot of you guys may disagree with me on that, but I've wanted one of these things for such a long time um, and I'm just really excited to finally have one. And believe it or not, I haven't even fired it yet. So let's load this thing up and see how it feels. All right, very first shots. We're going to start with some bird shot and see what the recoil feels like on this thing. I tell you what, for a shotgun that's pushing 130 years old, the wide open loading gate is easier to access than most modern shotguns that I have. So they figured that out. Let's see how she feels. Ah. <laughs> Probably should have strapped him down. I gotta be honest, it's no Benelli, but I am pleasantly surprised with the recoil. It is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. It's a small, lightweight shotgun that's 100 years old with no recoil pad, so I thought it would thump the shoulder a lot more than it did. Now you might have noticed when you rack the pump, the bolt actually comes out of the receiver, which obviously if you're not careful and you choke up too far, you could, you know, take the skin off of your thumb. Most modern shotguns do not have that. But before we go any further, guys, I want to thank my good friends at Brownells for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. Brownells is a third generation family owned American company, of course. It's been around since the 1930s and they're basically a one stop shop for everything firearms related. I honestly can't remember the last time I went to their website and couldn't find exactly what I needed. Anything you can think of that gun guys like us could possibly want they usually have. Anytime I've got a new rifle or pistol build I'm doing, I go to Brownells first because they usually end up having everything I need right there in one place. They also have certified gun techs on site that will give you free gunsmithing advice over the phone. So if you hit a speed bump or you know you need walk through something, uh, they can help you with that completely free of charge, which is pretty cool. They've got a huge inventory, they're Pro 2A and a guaranteed forever return policy, which is about all you could ask for. So again, thank you to Brownells and remember guys, always support the sponsors when you can. They do a lot especially for gun channels like us, and I really appreciate the support. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this part out of the way because I'm sure you all want to see it. So like I said, this is a slam fire shotgun, which basically means there's no disconnector that stops the hammer from falling when you rack the pump. So if you keep the trigger held down, you can just rack the pump over and over and it will empty the entire magazine tube. I've never shot one of these, um, but I'm really curious to see what all the fuss is about. So I've got four rounds in the magazine tube. I think it holds five or six, but we'll start with four and see what this slam fire is all about. All right, so I've got the trigger held down. <laughs> that is weird. Very weird. <laughs> all right, I've got four more shells in here. I'm just gonna hold the trigger down and try to pump this thing as fast as I can. See what it can do. 
That is awesome. <laughs> Woo! Let's try a little hip fire. Well, I've heard people say that they are no faster with slam fire than they are with a regular pump shotgun. And that might be true if you train a lot with pump action shotguns, but I can say with almost 100% certainty, I am way faster with this than any other shotgun I have. <laughs> it is fast. Shout out to Hickok45, the original pot smoker of the internet. We're gonna see if we can smoke a little pot ourselves. Try that metal trash can there. One more. <laughs> well, I definitely just found my new favorite shotgun. I've heard people say that slam fire is overrated and not as fun as people make it out to be, and that is 100% BS. I don't know how practical it is, um, but it's definitely not overrated. This thing is a blast. Let's see if we can hit some flying targets with it. Not exactly your typical bird hunting gun, but we'll try. <laughs> Got a piece of him. I haven't done some shotgunning in a while. This is actually kind of fun. <laughs> it just don't get no better. I absolutely love it. Well, with the bird shot, this thing surprised me with how soft shooting it was, but obviously in the military, they would be using buckshot. So next up, we're gonna try some double lot buckshot and see how this feels. Still not bad. So obviously a little more recoil, but still not bad at all for how old this thing is and you know, no recoil pad. I think it's a six o'clock hold because I put the sight right on his nose and I only got two pellets on his forehead. Let's try one more. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Well, you're not gonna believe this. I just realized I forgot my bandolier that entire time. And when you're shooting a trench gun, you obviously have to have this. So that explains why my shooting has been so bad up to this point. I almost think it's easier to slam fire from the hip than it is from the shoulder. Well, before we end this video, I want to smoke a little more pot because that stuff we smoked earlier was kind of weak. Now that's how you smoke pot. Well, everybody, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first video on the Winchester 1897 trench gun. I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised with this thing. I've wanted one of these forever and I just expected it to be, you know, old and feel like a 120 year old shotgun, but it's actually very smooth. It shoots really well. Uh, it's a dream to load, which a lot of modern shotguns haven't even figured that out yet. So I'm definitely impressed. And in my opinion, this is probably the coolest shotgun ever made and just the history and nostalgia tied to it is obviously a big reason why I've wanted one of these things for so long. So I'm happy to finally have one and we'll definitely uh, do some more videos on this thing in the near future. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.